Hey, and what is going on everybody? Welcome to the Farm Dream. My name is Raymond and this is The Dream. We're back on the allotment today. We have some chores to do to get ready for spring. We need to build some beds and I also got some willow branches that we can use to create a fence around the family garden. All right, let's get started. I want to start today out by trying to build a fence around the family garden with these willow branches. We actually got these from a farmer who has like 30 plus willow trees and he just needs to cut them every two, three years. We got loads of it, but at the same time, they're a lot of different sizes. So we need to figure out what will work and what won't. So first off, let's select everything and uh, sort it out. Here we are, everything is sorted from right here we have big branches that we probably can't braid. Right next to that, a big pile that we should be able to braid, but we're gonna have to try in a little bit. And then next to that, we got a big pile that we can definitely braid. And that's gonna be our, uh, our main branches to use. And all the way at the end here, the beams that we're gonna use for supporting the fence. All right, let's try something out. Let's see if we can build something real quick. This is where the family garden will be. It will be about five by five meters. And I just wanna try and get the back border in right now. See if we can get some branches in there, try and braid them and see how it's gonna end up looking. Let's go. The branches are in. We have a, a spacing of 50 centimeters per branch and I'm just gonna wiggle the other branches in between and I'm gonna test this out and see how it's gonna look. First braiding is done. I'm actually really happy with the result. Came out even better than I expected. There's a few things I want to tweak. Uh, definitely want it to be a little bit higher. This is quite low and I feel like the family garden just needs to be, well, shut off a little bit better from the out world, I guess. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Let's take it all out and uh, set it up again and go all the five meters all the way to the end and build it a little bit higher. But I now know what I need to do. <laughs> This took way longer than expected, but I'm really happy with the result. Even though it's a little bit curved, it's okay. It's natural and that's what I wanted it to look like. I topped it off with really heavy beams just to make sure that everything stays in place. And at the bottom, I added some screws just to make sure that I can't sack down too much. That's about it. Let's head to one more project for today because this costs a lot of time, but we do want to build some arches. Let's go. With the last light of the day, we're going to build two of these arches. It's going to be a challenge. We're going to build them simultaneously and there's only one drill. What? So let's see <laughs> who will be the quickest. Let's go! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to get my shoes off. They're done, they're on their spot. That's the one Nicole made, this is the one I made. I won, but the camera stopped recording so we don't have any evidence, so it's a draw. <laughs> and that's when the battery died yesterday, so we're back here today on the allotment. Wanted to show you guys what ended up over here and we're gonna build another fence. The idea is to have the entrance on the right side and the exit on the left, but of course you can enter either way and have climbing plants going all over the top here. We'll have perennials on the outside and we'll add some annuals on the inside to fill it all up. 
We're now gonna build the second side and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and explain how I did my braiding. So whoever wants to do it at home can join in. Let's go. The first step of building a fence is going to be getting your structure right. And for me, that's getting in the beams. I'm personally using thick branches from the willow tree, but you can use whatever you want, as long as they're not too thick, because the braiding gets really hard if you have a big beam. We're gonna first put in the first beam and also the last beam and put a string in between the two of them. The spacing in between each beam for me is 50 centimeters. I think you can go up to like 65 if you want to, but 50 seems like a good average and it works out really well. Now I'm going to be adding these stones here to the bottom to create a little bit of lift. I do like the design and also it lifts up the entire fence from the bottom, preventing rotting as much as we can. So now it's time to start braiding and it's really easy. It's, it's as easy as you think it is. We're gonna start with a thick side on this side. We're gonna push it down all the way to the bottom. And that's the first layer done. All we need to make sure is that we work from thick to small in that direction. Add another branch over there from thick to small all the way to the end. And then go back from the other side doing the same braid, but then thick to small to this side. We're just gonna continue where we stopped at the last beam where we still have support and then cut them both off. And then move back from the other side with the same braiding. Then when we get to the third layer, braid it the other way around and then you'll see everything gets sturdy. And now we can just continue to braid, adding two layers with the same braid style at a time and then interchanging to the other side. Now that we added quite a few layers, it's time to stamp it down. Get on there and put some weight on it. Clean up the edges and for the top layer use a big branch to make sure it stays secure in place. For the bottom, we're gonna add some screws to make sure they don't sag. And we're done. And there we have it, the family garden fence is done. They're connected, they're looking beautiful, really happy with the result. And I hope you guys learned something along the way. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Consider subscribing or helping out the channel by becoming a Patreon. And don't forget to live the fond dream. Ah!